Let's look at two Notion templates for project management. The first one here is free. It's called Dilly Dally. It is linked in the description. So for project management, the main thing that we want is to see what tasks are involved in the project. So I'm going to show you how this works in here. Let's say I add a task here for today and I will write here, write speech. And this is for a project of mine where I have to deliver a presentation at work. PowerPoint, PowerPoint, PowerPoint. So I have the write the speech or write the actual script for the presentation. So that is task one. Then what I want is to connect this to this project. Now in Dilly Dally, it is done for you. It is all already made. So what happens is if I click on this project here, you're going to see it is first empty, no results. That's because we have no projects in here. So I can write here uh, presentation to boss. That is the project that I'm working on. And I can click on new presentation to boss. And now this project has been created. So if I click away now and scroll down, you can see that this shows up. And even cooler, if I click on this now, you can see that new project shows up here. That is because this new project is actually a template in this project's database. So in this project's database, if I click on the down arrow, you can see new project here. That's that template. And this template is how all of this comes together. And if I click now on new project, then you can see automatically right speech comes up. And then you can see this question here. I'm doing this project because so this question is down here just for the people needing some motivation to actually work on the project. Now, as you can see in this project database, we have a few questions. Is it completed? When is the due date? And then days left. Now, the cool thing about this is this is a formula. We don't have to fill this out. So if I fill out the due date and let's say on the 10th, we could see that we have six full days left. That's because this is a very simple formula saying, show me the date between the due date, this property, and now, so today, it picks up on what today is. Show me that information in days, and then after that, add the text days left. That's why we're getting six days left. So that's how that works. And then we have completed here as well. So if you tick that in, it will be completed. So right now it's sitting underneath the uncompleted projects tab. But if I were to say completed, you could see that it gets removed from here, but we can find it in the completed tab as you would expect. For this one, we have the simple rule saying, hey, I only wanna see stuff that is not complete. So that is how this works. Now I'm going to make this uncomplete again. So it shows up here. So what we have here is right speech. So I'll do another one, which is make presentation slides. And then here we can say the project, which again is presentation to boss. Now in Dilly Dally, I've built in this thing called a new task template. If you click on that, you basically get some questions that again, just help you to work faster, keep you motivated. Let's tick these in and scroll down. I can click on presentation to boss project and I can see that they are ticked in here. This is 100% complete. So when you're starting a project, what you can do is add all of the different tasks that you have and your tasks are going to be showing up in the no date. So I'll show you how this actually works. So the no date list is every task that doesn't have a date associated with it. So basically, if it's in here, it's not scheduled basically in the past or in the future. But if we add a date to it, let's say tomorrow, you can see it gets removed from here. So it's a really cool way for us to actually organize all of our different tasks. And now if we open this up, presentation to boss, you can see we are 66% complete because research for presentation has not been added in. And if we tick this in, then we can say completed. Yes, it is complete. And that is how we do project management in Dilly Dally. Again, completely free linked in the description. Okay, so the second template for project management is headquarters. It is my all-in-one Notion system and it's a bit more comprehensive than Dilly Dally. So I can type here, make presentation slides. And then here under project, I can select what project. So we're going to say the boss presentation and then I can click on new project. Now there are a ton of features in this such as time tracking. We have time blocking. We have the Eisenhower matrix. We have actually addressing what kind of state of mind you have to be in so you can plan the proper week. We have putting it into the relevant buckets. So I can say that this is under my job. So I'll add in another task here for do research. And then under project, I can click here and you can see boss presentation comes up. And again, for the bucket, which is kind of the area in your life. So we have job, fitness, study, admin, journal, business, relationship, career, family, and friends. Obviously you can add any more as well. So I'm going to click here for job as well. So if I scroll down, I have make presentation and do research. And you can see that this is showing up in my order list. Now order is the thing that's using the Eisenhower matrix. So if I say that this is important and not urgent, and then let's say the make presentation slides part of this component is important and 
urgent, you can see that it actually jumps up in the queue. This is such a cool feature and it's using the Eisenhower matrix and it's the way that I stay organized. The state property here is what kind of mindset do I have to be in in order to do this task? So if I add here and say that make presentation slides, this is a flow state. This is going to involve a lot of cognitive effort and then do research. Let's say that this is a flow state as well. Then I'm just going to add a random task here, example A, and let's say that this is a flow state as well. What I can see here is that I have three flow state tasks on Monday. Now I have a rule for myself where I can only do two flow state tasks on one day. The average person can only concentrate for four hours. So I think it's unrealistic for me to think that I can also do task A after doing all of the research for a presentation and making the presentation slides. So what I can do here is drag example A to another day. Luckily the rest of my week is pretty open. So. We have this make presentation slides and do research. And if I scroll down, I can see here under my projects, we have this no status of boss presentation. So the first thing we're going to do is change the status or status, however you pronounce it. So we have ongoing deadline favorite. So if you favorited it, completed, move the needle and archived. I have some pretty insane features in here to do with move the needle, which is something that everyone talks about in the reviews. By the way, it's got over a thousand users with a five star rating and people seem to be a very big fan of the move the needle features. But for boss presentation, this is going to be a deadline task. And for the deadline, I can't remember what we said, but I think we said the 10th, so I can add that there. And then again, we can add the life bucket. So the life bucket for boss presentation was job. So in here, I can see my project's tasks. I can see do research and make presentation slides. And I can see that it's important, urgent, flow state, it's under the bucket of job. So that is showing up here on project tasks. And if I scroll down, I can also see some other stuff in this template. I can see the notes and I can see the bottlenecks of this actual project. This is such a useful feature. So I'll show you the notes feature first. If up here we think of something, the boss is saying something about the presentation and uh, they say, oh, we need to include the logo on every slide. Okay, cool. I can take a quick note here and just say, include logo on every slide. The life bucket was job. The project was boss presentation. Topic of interest, we don't need that for this. Click away, boom, the note has been taken. It's that simple. And now that I've taken the note, when I scroll down, it's automatically found where I need to find it, include logo on every slide, and I can see when I created this note. This is such a useful feature to have. In a project management dashboard, you mainly want your tasks, but other than that, it's also so useful to have all of your different notes. So when I'm doing this project and I'm working on this, I can see here, oh yeah, I need to include the logo on every slide. I forgot my boss said that. So it was so useful that this note is showing up in here. And then we have bottlenecks. Bottlenecks are basically just things stopping you from achieving a thing that you want. Let's say it's that I don't have the company statistics. And for this presentation, I need the company's statistics in here. So for projects tasks, what I can do is filter this and select here the project that contains only stuff to do with boss presentation. And what I can now do is start adding tasks to address this bottleneck. The way that most people treat bottlenecks is that they would just journal about it. And yes, we can do that. And that's actually how I typically get started on bottlenecks. So don't have company statistics. It's really difficult for me to do this presentation about the company when I don't have the data. So I've done my little journal here and I'm venting here in this bottleneck section here. And then I realized, wait a minute, I know how to fix this problem now. So now we want to fix this bottleneck. And to do that, we're going to start adding tasks. And I realized I need to organize a meeting with John Doe because John Doe has all of the information that I need about the company data. So now I know how to fix this issue. We are being very proactive here with the issues. So in this boss presentation now, I could see another added task, organize meeting with John Doe and I can see down here that I don't have the company statistics. And if it's been solved, then I can change this from priority to resolved. By the way, if we scroll down and we can see here a bunch of workspaces, which I won't get into, but we also have life buckets. So if I open up the job life bucket, and I'll do this full screen. You can see here, here's my day to day. Here's everything that's been scheduled for my day to day at my job. And here we can see all of the uncompleted work tasks. So everything that I haven't done yet. Here I can see all of the projects, again, just to do with my job. Here I can see all of the different notes that I have just to do with my job. This system here is showing me all of the information that I need when I need to see it. The template is called headquarters. It is linked in the description. If you wanna see other features such as time tracking, move the needle, ideal schedule, resources, uh, open loops, the mobile HQ. If you wanna see all of this other stuff, then click on this video here. It has over a thousand users with a five-star rating. Thank you so much for watching.